of course, uh, this is an issue that has caught the attention of the governor in Maryland. And, you know, we talk about anger. There are anger from so many different levels, from the parents, from the community. You heard it from Jack Smith. You're also hearing from a Governor Hogan. So let's go back to Tom Fitzgerald. He is uh, in Annapolis talking to the governor about what happened in Montgomery County. Fitz, back to you. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, Jim and Sarah, because while you heard Dr. Smith just say there he doesn't want to bring politics into this, clearly there seems to be a disconnect here between what people are talking about and what Dr. Smith wants to talk about. Uh, the issue here is not the 25,000 students that he referred to. The issue is these two students, and those questions are coming from this building behind me, the Maryland State House, in the person of the governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, who says that he has repeatedly put questions to the Montgomery County Public School Board and along with the State Board of Education and Governor Hogan today saying in no uncertain terms they have been rebuked in getting any answers out of the Montgomery County School Board about these kinds of questions about why were these 18 year old why was an 18 year old in close proximity to a 14 year old what did they know about the immigration status of these two individuals that have been charged in this rape how did they notify federal officials that they were dealing with these individuals and what kinds of monitoring was going on on these two individuals while they were in school? So while you hear Dr. Smith talk and defend that the policies of the Montgomery County schools are in place, there is a whole host of other questions going on at the top echelons, not only in county government, but at state government and the United States government as well about this case tonight. So back to Governor Hogan, uh, a visibly animated, angered governor tonight, talking about how he has been unable to get answers to the questions that many of our viewers have been posing. This is what the governor said he's wanting to know right now and still has not received an answer about as of this moment. Why is an 18-year-old man uh, in a ninth grade class with 13, 14-year-old girls? Uh, why was his status not known to those folks? Um, why was he allowed to enter the country after they apprehended him uh, for illegally crossing the border, both of them. Uh, so there's a lot of questions. And a lot of questions still remain, including why the governor says is the Montgomery County School Board not cooperating, not only with the governor's staff, but with the State Board of Education. Governor went on at length today about what has been going on behind the scenes since this attack on Friday as state officials have tried in vain so far to get these answers. Where my biggest concern lies is with the Montgomery County school system um, and uh, their lack of cooperation and the lack of information they've been providing. Uh, not only have they refused to provide any information to us, but they've refused to provide it to the State Board of Education who specifically requested more information. And keep in mind, in what may have been a stunning act of political bad timing in this building behind us tonight, the Maryland State House, last night, delegates in the Maryland House of Delegates, controlled by the Democratic Party, passed a bill that would prohibit police in this state from questioning individuals about their immigration status or even detaining those individuals until federal immigration and customs enforcement agencies are able to deport those individuals. Governor Hogan tonight saying that he will now work to kill this bill in the Senate and would veto it if it came to his desk. But he said as far as the timing of this coming just three days after this attack at Rockville High School, governor calling this absurd. I'm going to veto it immediately. And I, I can't imagine what these people were thinking to even propose such a bill. Uh, a few days after this girl was brutally raped by these two uh, young men who were in, in, in the country illegally. Right, so there you have Governor Hogan at length tonight. He did have positive words for some aspects of what's been going on in this case. The Montgomery County Police, Governor Hogan says they have been working closely with Maryland State Police. Also, he says the governor's staff has been in regular touch with the Montgomery County Executive Ike Leggett. But as far as the relationship between the governor's office and the Montgomery County Public Schools tonight, Governor Larry Hogan says he is going to continue to press for answers, and he is not done with this by a long shot. We're live here in the State House. We're going to send it back into you now. All right, Fitz, thank you. And